Hello and welcome back to the second part of this video that is learn Python list compression by building a case converter program. In this particular video, we are going to cover steps number 11 all through 22. If you are here for the first time, remember to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button and also be sure to check out our previous video using the card on the top right corner of this video. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started with step number 11 which reads since the function is now complete put it to use inside another function create a new function called main on the same level as the convert to snake case function so step number 11 requires us to create a new function and remember in python to create a function we will need to begin with the keyword def followed by the function name and a semicolon at the end Later on, the body function comes in. So, for this, we need to create a function with the name main. So, main. And remember, in Python, to create a new function, you need to begin with the keyword dev, followed by the function name, and some brackets, followed by a semicolon, and a pass keyword to represent the body of the function, since as of now, we have nothing to add in. So, we go ahead and check our code, and if everything passes correctly, we proceed to the next step, which is step number 12, and it reads, Inside the main function, replace pass with a convert to snake case call, pass the string a long and complex string as an input to the function and print out the output using the print function. So step number 12 requires us to get rid of the pass keyword and add a call to our first function which we created which is convert to snake case. So we need to add a call this. And remember in Python to call a function, all you need to do is add the function name followed by a set of brackets. And another thing we are required to do is add a string inside our function call. So we are going to copy the string and paste it inside our function call. And lastly, we need to print out the output from this. And for that, we are going to use the print the function and close the entire call inside the print function and uh, check our code before proceeding to step number 13. Step number 13 reads, before running the main function, you need to make sure that the file is running as a script. Add a new statement on the same level as the two existing functions and check where the name is equal to main. Remember to use pass to fill the if statement body. So for this, we need to make sure that the file we are working on runs as a script. And for that, we need to add an if statement that has this particular condition in it. So for this, we are going to add a new line, add an if statement, and copy this statement as it appears here. And remember to add a semicolon at the end, add a pass to the body of the if statement, and check our code before proceeding to the next step, which is step number 14. Step number 14 reads, replace pass with a call to the main function inside the body of the if statement. You should see the given camel or pascal case string convert to snake case upon execution. So for this, we need to get rid of these and add a call to the function which we created earlier, that is the main function. And remember in Python, as I mentioned earlier, to call a function, all you need is the function name followed by a set of brackets and uh, that works the magic. And as you can see from our preview window on the right side here, we are able to see a converted case of the string that we passed in earlier. So we check our code and proceed to the next step, which is step number 15. So far in this project, you have not seen any usage of list compression whatsoever. Like you learned in the first step, list compressions are a more concise way of constructing lists in Python. Begin, begin the transition to compressions by commenting out all the lines of code inside the convert to snake case function. Don't delete them as they will be helpful when you implement the logic using a list compression. Remember to add the pass keyword to the function body to prevent the code from failing during the test. 
So uh, step number 15 requires us to comment out the entire contents of these particular functions. And for that, we are going to do that and add a pass keyword to the body of that particular function and uh, check our code and proceed to the next step, which is step number 16. Step number 16 reads, start by replacing pass with the variable snake cased character list and assign it an empty list. Use the square brace notation to create the list, but do not put anything between the braces. Put the braces in separate lines so that you have some space between them where you can work on the code for list compression. So we need to get rid of the pass keyword and get this variable name, add it in the place of the keyword, and remember, we're creating an empty list in Python, which is identified using the square brackets. Add an empty line and check our code to be sure everything passes correctly before proceeding to the next step, which is step number 17. Inside the space you left between the pair of square braces, you can now describe the value you would like to include in the list based on a given condition. And uh, yeah, so this is the condition that has been given to us. So as of now, we only had the variable name and the empty set of square brackets. Now this step, we are required to add this particular line of code. And uh, what the line does is that Python will interpret this expression as append an underscore plus a lower version of the character we are going to pass into the list if it's uppercase. And this will convert the case of the capital the case for the capital letters in the input string start by adding this line within the square bracket so within this particular list let's go ahead and add the line check our code and proceed to the next step which is step number 18 when you start a list compression with an if statement like this python requires you to also add an else clause to the expression and uh, yeah, so the else clause that we need in this case is this particular one line here. So we are going to copy it. And uh, Python will interpret this updated expression as append an underscore plus a character that has been converted into lowercase to the list if the character is in uppercase. Later on, append the character as it is otherwise. And this covers the case for both capital and lowercase letters in the input string. So, into the task of step number 18 is add an else clause inside the square braces. Check our code and proceed to the next step, which is step number 19. The final piece of the puzzle in the input string itself. The list compression needs to know about the object it will iterate upon. In this case, you need to iterate upon all characters of the string. So, and uh, this is the particular line of code we need for step number 19. And therefore, and there you have it. These three lines of code do the same task as the for loop you worked on previously while being cleaner and somewhat faster. Add this line of code to iterate over the characters of the string in your list compression and make sure that you're writing it within the pair of square braces. So uh, basically, these three lines of code that we have here, these ones, work exactly as the lines of code that we commented out earlier. So let's check our code and proceed to the next step, which is step number 20. You will still need to join the list elements into a string strip off any dangling underscores and return the string even though you can do you can do that like you did earlier let's see a shorter alternative so this particular line of code here gets rid of any spaces and underscores within the string that can be passed into uh, the conversion program so basically the single line of code will join the list of characters into a string Strip off any dangling underscores and return the resulting string. Add this line of code to the same level as the variable name that we began with earlier and inside the convert to snake case function. So uh, on the same level as this, uh, we are going to add the line of code 
and uh, as you can see immediately after adding the line of code from our preview window we are able to get a conversion or a snake case conversion of the list uh, of the string that we had passed in earlier which as you can see here so let's check our code and proceed to the next step which is step number 21 and it reads get rid of the commented lines of code inside the convert to snake case function to clean up the function so we are going to get rid of this entire line of codes here and uh, check our code and proceed to the last step of this particular function which is step number 22. Finally, try out this new implementation by executing the program. Change the input string to I am Pascal case string to see if it, if it comes out as this even though that's a lie. If you have done everything correctly, you should see the input string converted into snake case like before. And with that, congratulations, now your convert to snake case function is ready. So just to be sure that our program works fine, we are going to copy these, come down here and replace our existing string with a new one. And as you can see, it works correctly. So check our code. And uh, yeah, congratulations, the code passes. And with that, our function is done and complete. And we have successfully completed the list compression by building a case converter program. See you in the next video where we begin a new program.